never took a L, lesson learned and I bounce back Tripping off a nigga, man, for what? I just fall back I don't have the time to be giving out my time Haters trying to dim my light, cause they know I'm about to shine When they say I'm not hot, now you know you niggas lying What's up y'all, I'm Khadija Nicole and welcome to my channel. I know some people aren't down for wigs in the summertime, but this is honestly the perfect summer bob. In collaboration with YG Wigs, I wanna share with you guys this loose curly short bob, perfect for the summertime in that hot weather. So this lace front wig is Brazilian virgin human hair. It is in the color 1B with a medium cap size and medium brown lace and 150% density. The construction of this wig is bomb. It comes with a 13 by 6 lace, which that is a 6 inch deep parting space. So you can part this wig back really far without having them track showing or nothing like that. It also has four combs, two in the sides, one in the top and one at the nape. Also at the nape is an adjustable strap. And one thing I really like about this wig in particular, they also now include an adjustable strap. Um, you know how you used to could sew one in? Well, yeah, this one comes with one that is detachable and I actually took mine out, but if you like to have these type of straps in your hair to you know secure them to make your wig lay flat without having any glue or gel to tack it down, yeah, this bad boy comes with that too. And as you can see here, the lace is also pre-plucked with baby hairs. Honestly, fresh out of the pack, the curls are beautiful, but I am going to go ahead, shampoo, condition, and then style the wig. So I have my hair braided down and I'm going to be going in with Got To Be's glued and applying this to my hairline. And I did go in and wipe away my makeup so that the glued would stick really nicely. So I'm also going to be using this rat tail comb to help me apply the glue. Um, and I just like to use this comb because it helps me get like a thin layer without having it all caked up and stuff like that. I just get a nice thin layer and that helps it to dry faster and just come out overall good so i'm just smoothing the um got to be across my hairline just a real nice even layer and once i have it completely across my hairline i'm going to go in with my blow dryer and let that begin to get tacky so that i can then apply my wig So here I have my wig all nice and washed. Like, look how good the curls are looking now. They're just looking even better and better. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my wig on and start to tack it down. So I usually just place the ear tabs down on the glue and try to put them in place. And then go in with the blow dryer again to secure it even more. Now, sometimes you can miss some spots. So here I am just kind of, you know, checking out my hairline to see if I need to go in with some more of the glue. And I actually do because some pieces didn't lay down all the way. So I just apply a little dab to those little, that little hairline part of the wig and just make sure it's secured down. And then I'll go back in with my blow dryer again to, you know, set the wig completely. And once I've done all that, then I'm gonna go in with the Got To Be Free Spray and just spray my edges of the wig as well. And this just kinda helps like lock it in place even more. And it also helps me when I'm doing my baby hairs. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Free Spray right now and spray that all over the hairline as well. And just to make sure that my wig is just slayed and just laid all the way, I'm gonna go in with this scarf and tie my hair down for a little bit. And it just helps the wig just melt and mold and just, you know, it be snatched to the scalp. Just mold it good. And I usually leave this on for, you know, a couple minutes just to let it marinate. Now it's time to style and I'm just going in with some water to completely saturate the hair so that I can style it. You know just how I want it and to get rid of like lumps and bumps in it
So now I'm just kind of trying to see how I want to style it. And in order to make it mold to the shape that I want, I'm gonna go in with some mousse. And this is just gonna help um, lay the top part flatter. You see how it's just kind of lumpy like? It just has that fresh out of the bag look. It don't look like, you know, how it's supposed to. So I use the mousse to flatten the top out and to shape the wig. And I just apply more mousse wherever I need to. I'm mostly focusing on the back because I have a lot of extra volume that I don't need. So I just kind of work it throughout that back area. Now I'm gonna go in with some Texture ID Leave-In Conditioner. And this is just gonna help make the curls pop real nice, you know, give it that moisture and just look really good. We love putting leave-in and curly hair. So I just put that all over the hair and now I'm good to go ahead and take off my scarf. Oh yeah, by the way, the scarf is also good to keep water from um, getting on your edges and making the wig lift up. But now I am going in with my rat tail comb to create a part. And like I said, I want a side part. So that's the look that I'm going for. Now I'm going in and doing my edges up a little bit, you know, to help cover up that little area. Uh, where the wig starts so to make it blend more and just make them real cute so this is pretty much the look i'm going for but um i wanted to fix this little area on the side because i want this little sideburn piece to hang out but it's too long so i just chopped it up a little bit and I'm still messing with my part. Um, I'm going in and pulling out some hairs um, so it can be a little bit more defined and look a lot more natural. And once I do that, I'm just gonna let it set. Y'all, this honestly came out so cute. I was a little bit scared about it. I was like, I don't know what it's gonna look like. But I'm going to do it anyways. And y'all, it came out cute. Like, the curls are so popping and pretty. I really, really like this wig. It's definitely something different for me. I usually go for long hair. But yes, this is super cute. Bomb for the summertime. People, you know, like to say it's too hot for wigs. But no, this is a good one. It ain't on your neck. And yes, I really, really like this wig. I'll leave all the links for this wig in the description box below so you guys can check out the site. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, helps your girl out. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the team. Right after that, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are instantly notified whenever I post a new video here on my channel. And with all of that being said, your girl is out. Deuces.